You'll need lightning fast reactions to knock out the knife thrower, stop the stick fighter, and to trip up the evil Tom Tom brothers in this action packed martial arts contest. Are you sure you're tough enough? Because it'll take all your strength and skill to master the moves in Kung Fu. Beat your opponents and rescue the fair Sylvia who is held captive on the top floor. The action is non stop, and just when you think you've got your enemies licked, there's always a giant, a snake, or a fire breathing dragon to contend with in Kung Fu. And this is Kung Fu from our good friends at IREM. Remember IREM and Nintendo, uh, released in 1985, also known as Spartan X. Now we looked at Kung Fu 2 a little while ago, and this is obviously the prequel to that. It kind of. It was originally released as Spartan X or Kung Fu Master. It's a beat em up arcade game released in 1984, originally developed and published in Japan by IRM, later published in North America by Data East. And the Japanese version was based on the Jackie Chan movie Wheels on Meals. That's what it says. Known as Spartan X in Japan and credited Paragon Films Limited, Toa Promotion, who produced the film upon which it is based. The game is considered to be many. Uh, by many to be the first beat 'em up game and contains elements of Bruce Lee's game of death. We take control of Thomas. Uh, his girlfriend, Sylvia, has been kidnapped by Mr. X, and Thomas must fight through five side scrolling floors full of enemies to rescue her. Brutally summarized as rescue girlfriend hit people, the US and UK versions open with the phrase Thomas and Sylvia were attacked by several unknown guys. Oh, no. The game was produced for IREM by Takahashi and Nishiyama, who also created IREM's 1982 arcade hit Moon Patrol, and later designed the original 1987 Street Fighter at Capcom before leaving to run SNK's video game development division, creating the Neo Geo arcade system board and its games like Fatal Fury, King of Fighters, Art of Fighting, King of Fighters 94, and Samurai Showdown, as well as several of their successors. So this game's got some cred. It's got some street cred. This early beat em up, we control the main character, Thomas, with a joystick to move, crouch, jump, separate buttons to punch and kick. Either attack can be done from a standing, crouching, or jumping position. Punches give more points, but their range is shorter. Human enemies uh, include grippers, who can grab Thomas and drain his energy until it's shaken off, knife throwers, who can throw at two different heights, and Tom Toms, who can either grab Thomas or somersault to strike his head. On even number of floors, you must also deal with falling balls and pots, snakes, poisonous moths, fire breathing dragons, and exploding confetti balls. This is all in the arcade version, by the way. Temple has five floors, each ending with a different boss who must be defeated before you can climb the stairs to the next floor. You must complete each floor within a fixed time, and if the time runs out or his energy is completely drained, he loses one life and must replay the entire floor. If a boss defeats Thomas, the boss laughs. Although there are five bosses, the game only uses two different synthesized laughs. The NES port, however, uses a third. Once the player has completed all five floors, the game restarts with a more demanding version of the Devil's Temple. Although the essential details remain unchanged, a visual indication of the current house is displayed on screen. And for each of the five completed floors, a dragon symbol appears in the upper right-hand corner. After three dragons have been added, the dragon symbols blink. I don't know. Uh, was ported to the Atari 2600, 7800, the Amstrad CPC, the Apple II, the BEOS X86, the Commodore 64, DOS, Java, Linux, the NES and Famicom, the MSX, PlayChoice 10, uh, the Sega SG-1000, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, and Windows. It was also made for the 8-bit Game King console under the name of Nogwall. Some of the 8-bit conversions offered highly degraded performance, sound, and image resolution. The NES version was ported and published by Nintendo simply under the title of Kung Fu in North America and PAL regions. The Atari 2600 is notable for being one of the last commercial games released for the console, which was impressively 10 years old at the time the game was released for it in 1987. The original arcade version was later included along with the arcade versions of Ten Yard Fight and Zippy Race in the IAC IRAM arcade classics for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn, which was released only in Japan by IRAM and IMAX. The arcade version was also released to cell phones. The Amstrad CPC and ZX Spectrum versions of the game were included in the 1986 compilation They Sold a Million Part 3, along with Fighter Pilot, Ghostbusters, and Rambo. It's Kung Fu, man. What can you say? This was a great game. I mean, it's one of the black box games for the NES. It was a, it was a release title. 
very challenging, very fun. Loved playing it as a kid. Never got very far. Could probably finish it now as a as an old man, but maybe we'll find out someday. <laughs>